Okay, this is for the ingredients. I'm gonna use the magic bullet for half of uh, palm sugar. I don't have brown sugar, so I'm using that. And then black peppers. Um, I like the peppercorn. So I'm gonna put um, And also the Montreal steak seasoning pounded. So I'm going to use a uh, one and a half tablespoon. This is for about two pounds of um, the beef. I believe that's all the ingredients that I need to mix, and then the rest are liquid. So for the ingredients, I use the magic bullet. I got the wrong cup. This is the magic bullet one. Okay. So we're going for the ingredients. There's some ingredients left in the cup, so I just put a little water. Use a little bit of uh, chili powder. I don't have precise measurement, so like, you know, four or five shakes in there. And the same thing with this, uh, one tablespoon. Should do it. Then I have the three crab fish sauce. Oh, one tablespoon as well. There you go. And one tablespoon of granulated sugar. And then here's the minced onion. Oh, it's stuck pretty good. I haven't used for a while, it seemed to be condensed. And use about yeah that much, close to a tablespoon. Cayenne pepper. I don't have paprika, so that's all I use. It's a little more black pepper, garlic powder. That much. We mix the ingredients together. You can add the uh, Worcestershire sauce. I don't have it. Ran out. So it's just making use of what I have around the house. Oh, that's pretty good. Good balance of uh, sweet, salt, a uh, little bit of heat in there. It's not enough heat. I'm gonna toss a little bit. Okay, that's perfect. Um, sweet, but a little, a little more salty than sweet. And once you put the beef in there, I'll be perfect. Good balance. Okay, I have a frozen piece of meat. I'm gonna put it here. Um, yeah, I'm gonna start slicing this and see uh, see how it turns out. And this is in the back. I put a plate back there to catch the meat. Turn on. Just turned it off so this is how thick it is or how thin it is um, that's probably too thin Alrighty, 
see how big the, the meat is. That's how thick it is. All right, one thing about this machine is um, this thing keeps sliding. So I'm not sure how it slide. So that's a power on and off button. Yeah, um, I'm going to unplug it first. Okay. So this button here, or this knob here, when you pull in, the gaps also pull in. You push it out, also create a gap, big gap, or however, however big or small you want. So as I slice the meat, um, I think the meat is too, uh, maybe frozen is not a, not a good idea, maybe semi-frozen, okay? So partly it's me, but I'm just showing you my experience. So as I'm pushing to cut the meat, this part here, it pushed out a little bit. So as you can see, the meat is a little thicker than top, on the top, and a little smaller than the bottom. Create a big piece like this, really thick. See that? And some are about about right. And this one is super thin. So I'm I'm getting an even cut here. But it's alright. I'm gonna separate the meat and put only about two pounds in here. Take the thicker piece out. Start pouring the sauce on it. You can use gloves, but you know, as long as you wash your finger clean, it doesn't matter. I like to work with bare hands. It's your food, your own cooking, so, you know, feel comfortable, make sure it's clean. Yeah, the meat is still frozen. I'm just tossing it lightly because uh, some are cut really thin. I don't want to mess up the, the meat, you know. So the ingredients about right. It's not too too saturated, as you see. So it's getting to the meat. And I'll put this in a Ziploc bag and uh, let it marinate for... Well, at least half a day. Ideally, I like to do for 24 hours. I'm gonna go and do some, go out there and do some fishing. Come back and dehydrate it. There we go. Okay, I got some of the uh, Worcestershire sauce. I have a hard time saying this word, guys. Um, this is what I used in the past. So I'm going to put about one tablespoon of it. One and a half, maybe. That's it. I'm going to mix it up, put it in a Ziploc bag, and put it in the fridge. Okay, just transfer it to the Ziploc bag.